because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone, anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on, even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. Oh, the dog tag. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. Clifford Unger. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. And that's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. They want to join me in the shower again, Die Hardman? <laughs> er, not Die Hardman, Dead Man. Yeah, I am caked in fucking blood and shit. Sam, do you copy? As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our Ha, all occupy the same world, but our souls, our Ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, mm. if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. Yeah. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiral Network, who knows what we might discover. EX grenade number zero. Interesting. Ten grenades from that shower. Holy shit. Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. I think I have some mail to read, so I'll read some mail after I have my daily dose of monster energy, unleash the beast within. That's a slogan, right? Or just unleash the beast. Close. Uh, let me look at the mail. I only have one. Okay. From Aaron Hill from Mount Knot City. Recovery request dead man stuff. Sorry, buddy, Sam. I know you must be busy. I wonder if you could go and fetch a few things of dead man's. You remember the cabin you arranged to meet at, right? Well, the cabin itself got blown away by the supercell, but dead man's winter coats and boots should be nearby. <laughs> could you go pick them up and bring them to Mount Knot City? A standard issue bridges kit, but in a custom made size. You could take the order at the delivery terminal. It'd be great if you could help us out with this one. I know, I know, another day, another errand, but I hope you understand we're not asking you to handle all their folks' dirty work. No one else can do what you do. You realize that, don't you? So they want me to go pick up Dead Man's clothes that he lost in the supercell? Ooh! There's more figures! There's just another section down there. Ooh! 
What is that? Wow. Okay. There's a lot of figurines now. There's some on the table. I think the ones on the table are the new ones that will be added to the, the display in the back there. These ones. Yep, because that just happened. Me and Dead Man facing Mads and his soldiers. Interesting. Check on Lou. It says Lou instead of uh, BB now. But there's an equipment rack quest or whatever this is. Change color scheme. Oh. Oh, these things. I didn't know this was Luin's mask. Oh yeah, the purple I got. I don't wear these though. I wear the Johnny... Not these ones. We'll make them purple. Can we change the hat color? We can. I like purple. Purple's a good color. But yeah, I wear the Johnny... Uh, Silver hands sunglasses from uh, Cyberpunk. I forgot to check on Lou. Can I help you? John, is that you? What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat it last year. Justin's one of his special forces friends. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming. Interesting. <laughs> Oh man, I lost all oh, my shit. Oh, he's he put in my private locker, right? Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire country. Oh shit, we're near the end of the game. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. It's Amelie. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Of course. Hartman will help you get it done. Hartman's lab. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much. Yeah, what to happened to Mama's why. corpse? She should void out, right? May yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to But she's, yeah, like he said, she's not experiencing Suffice necrosis. Say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Interesting. Why is Mama's corpse? Is it because she's connected to, uh... Lochne? I think is her name? Because they were initially one, so if one of them dies, which Mama sadly did, it doesn't matter because Lochne is still alive, so now they're all just into Mama and Lochne are now one being, but if Locke knows to die, then there would be a void out. Right? That's just my uh, theory craft. Um, I'm just gonna grab... Not that. I don't need the assault rifles. Grab the bola gun. Well, that's a lot of blood bags. Oh, 
Wait, what do I have on? Hmm. It looked like I had two boots on my boot clip. My blood bags are good. That one's a little missing like 51. It's fine. Oh, I do have two boots on my boot clip. I can get rid of this one though. Upload it, it's fine. Um, I don't. I'm just gonna confirm, and I'm gonna recycle those extra blood bags because I don't need all of those. Recycle those, and then confirm. I need to put those power wheels back on too, and my power legs. Okay, so I need to put those legs back on. Put that on, and then put those. Your contribution. Now we're good. Um, hope. Do I have to go back into like mountainous territory with this? Oh shit! I have multiple things. Fuck. Okay. Um, we'll do the. Dead man's clothes first. Which I don't know why is a primary fucking mission. <laughs> it's just his clothes, man. Why is dead why is dead man's clothes so fucking uh important? Order assigned. We're we are getting close to the end of this game, I feel like. Cause like he said, uh the the guy said uh There's BTs there. Okay. So what if we went this way, right? Yep. And then we gotta find his clothes in there. Okay. But like the uh Die Herman said, we have one more place to go before we reconnect the entire Carol network. Uh, A2. Okay, let's go up there. Hey, look at friendly porters! Drop by hey there! Hey there! Hey there! Hey there. 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 Are they offering me stuff? Oh shit, I'll take that. Oh, thank you. Keep on keeping Keep on, on. on. Cool. Some cool guys. They gave me a free climbing anchor. Oh fuck. All right, well we're going in already into the time fall here. Um, I'm gonna hit the generator then fucking dart right. The sleigh bells always play when it's time fall, but it's snow. I feel like the snow time fall definitely affects, or like accelerates the effects of time fall. I have a lot of cryptos, crypto bios. Yeah, look at our stamina. We're good now. We got that extra bonus. Before we were struggling, before we met dead, uh, dead man at the cabin, we were so low <laughs> on the stamina. We can cut from A3 to A5. We don't need to go all the way to A4. On the map, it looked like it was gonna be more. Uh, mountainous? But we can actually just cut through. So that's good. That saves us time. There's some sandal wood there. We don't need that. We got two extra pairs of boots. Actually, we don't, because I got rid of one of them. 
That's fine. You don't wear through these level three boots that fast, like at all. I want to say we're kind of close to the end, which is wild. I mean, oh wow. Okay, no time fall. It's like that. But I mean, what I'm saying is, I want to say we're close to the end. But I'm not entirely sure. Because we I put quite a bit of time into this game. Like 26, 28 hours. Like on my YouTube, I have 34 videos for my Death Stranding playthrough. Which is a lot. It's the most I've had for a single player playthrough. <laughs> For comparison, my Spider-Man Miles Morales was only nine episodes. Because that game was so short. That game should have literally just been a DLC. Kinda of disappointed on how short that game was compared to the original Spider-Man game, which was really fun, and I didn't stream all of it. Which just kinda of sucks because I don't have any record of it on my YouTube. Besides through VODs, where I played bits and pieces here and there. Almost there. Yeah, it is what it is. This is definitely one of my longest played single player games. For on stream, that is. I still need to figure out what I want to play after this, because I got a lot of cool games. That I'm that I've recently acquired through the Christmas sale on Steam that I really want to play. Where are we going? Where's the objective? What the fuck? Wait. Oh, it's in, it's just somewhere in here. Key cargo is located. Where? All the way up there. Because I got Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade and Persona 5. And obviously Persona 5 Royale is giga long. Like, extremely fucking long. That's going to take 100 hours. So I kind of want to do Final Fantasy Remake Intergrade first. Is what my thinking is. And then I want to do Persona 5 Royale. And then... Oh god, that ladder wasn't good. Okay. Nope, that ladder wasn't good. That ladder was not good. How the fuck do I get up this? I think I go around up here. <laughs> this fucking flew off the goddamn cliffside! So I think after Death Stranding here, I'm gonna start uh, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> We're off the Cairo network. I think that's fine. We're not in Timefall. Then again, Timefall doesn't really fly because I'm not carrying any cargo. Dude, how the fuck am I gonna get up? Okay, there might be around this corner here. There we go. Okay, much better. I'm definitely looking forward to playing those other games, too. But this game is just so fucking unique. And different from any other game I've played. That it, it's definitely in my top... I'd say top ten.
Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to get there? Brother. Do I climb up then kind of drop myself down with some ropes? I got a plenty of anchor ropes. So I might just do that. That seems like the logical plan, right? Oh, I didn't realize I was running those I'm gonna Holy shit. That would have been really bad, I think. God damn. Okay, slowly down. Slow down. Is that all I need? Okay, nice. That's all I needed. What is this ladder? Whoa! That camera. I'm gonna put a rope down. What a weird, precarious position for his winter clothes to end up at. Without using any, like, ropes or ladders, you wouldn't be able to get to this. Yeah, my ladder there went nowhere. I'm gonna pick that ladder back up. This rope will literally lead you right there. Yeah. If you take that rope, you'll just get there. Um, down another uh, rope. If you take my two ropes, you literally get right there. Okay, so we just need to go back to. Mountain Knot. Yep, so we just need to go back the way we came. That would be good. And then we can go do the Mama's uh, body delivery. What the fuck? Why did it? It forced me to stop right there for some reason. That's kind of weird. Walking down the mountain. Distribution center is south of Lake Knot City. No one is gonna make that delivery. From here, that is gonna take an hour IRL time. At the minimum. That is so far up from here. Oh, look at it. It's a... Uh, good guy porters there. What the fuck? Okay, I asked for that. I asked for that. Yeah, my battery's low, I know. We're almost there. Oh, just kidding. We have to go over that mountain. Alright, I'm gonna turn on boost. Anybody hear me? Anyone? Hello? They don't have anything I need. Climb anchor, smoke grenade, and bullet gun. Alright, just over this little hill here and we'll be good to go. Pretty simple. See, this is the kind of mission there you expect to hear maybe some music, but... 
They don't play anything. Maybe I didn't hit any triggers for any songs, which sucks. But, uh, definitely should be some music. There we go. Oh, there's a. Oh, it's a bridge. Why is there a rope? It's not that steep. Hmm. Let's use the last one here. Oh yeah, my power gloves. I can go down super fast on those now. Beginning scan. Scan and bridges ID. Verifying ID. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. We're good to go. Look at it. We got your winter clothes dead, man. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Thanks, Sam. Mountain Knot City wouldn't be on the chiral network if it weren't for you. And now we can finally do our part for the UCA. Sorry you had to go through so much trouble. Just know that we appreciate it. Yeah, huh? That's an S, baby. Assault rifle level 3? Hell yeah. Bandwidth increase as well. Rest up and do the next story mission. Even though that was a story mission. Delivering dead man's clothes that he lost during the supercell. That new mail from Aaron Hill again. Thanks for loading the coast of boots. Thanks for picking up Deadman's Cotton's boots. They were loners and of a size we don't stock in excess. In fact, it's so rare that someone asked for them that we only had the one set. Anyway, we'll give them a good wash paper before placing them in the storage. You take care of yourself, Sam. It's not. Ugh, excuse me. Let's check up on Lou. We haven't checked up on Lou in a little bit. <laughs> 